Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go nine hours a day. We go 24 hours a day on the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day, and uh, make it a great Columbus Day, folks. It's a uh, holiday out here in, in many places. Let's take a look at one of the uh, four agreements. Release the need to be right. When you believe something, you assume you're right. You may even destroy relationships in order to defend your position. Let go of the need to defend your position. Market-wise, let's take a look at it out here. We had the Dow Industrials down 26, NASDAQ off 23, S&P's off 5 bucks, gold contract uh, down uh, $4 at 1776 90 Silver off 51 cents at $34 even. Platinum down 13 at 1695 an ounce. Copper down five pennies at 372 a pound. Light sweet crude flat at $89.68 a barrel. Bonds up 26 ticks at 148.10. King dollar up uh, 23 ticks at 79.66. The yen, no, the euro is down 73 ticks at 129, and the yen is down 35 at, at 7832. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want well, to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Okay. We really got a flat market. You're down four, oh, four bucks, but it's flat, folks. We did 459 million. Now, bottom line. That's light volume extraordinaire. What that says, guess what? S&P can go after that 1470 once again, which was the high of a Friday, and the 1474 uh, was the high of September 14th. Dow Industrials, we take a look at the Dow, you get the same setup in the Dow. What you have with the Dow? Bottom line, flat market, pulls back 26 bucks, doesn't mean a thing. Um, that, that high looks like it's gonna get tested again. Now, NASDAQ Composite, different animal. We get some diver divergence, and this is what it is. So the composite comes down uh, 23 bucks. The swing point on the composite, folks, the swing low out here is 3080. Right now, we're at 3112. Now, what the composite also did is this. The composite backed down with lighter volume. We only did 1.2 billion, which is shot volume. The way the composite's trading, however, is that the composite closed at its lows. Now, when you put that together with the NDX 100, we go over to the three Qs, what you're going to see is this. The three Qs today, we did 30 million shares, and you're going into 32 million. That, for a holiday, just in general, well, let's put it this, whether it's a holiday or not, in general, that's a pickup on volume on the way down as you're coming into the swing point. Bottom line, I expect what you're going to see, uh, the NDX 100, the three Qs are going to go attack the 67.85 tomorrow morning. That being said, what we know what it's all about, right? Good old Apple. And so Apple, what Apple did today on a holiday trading day, guess what? Acceleration of volume, blew out a B point and did it with volume. Right now, Apple's down 14 bucks at 6.38. The small ABC down will bring it to 6.25. Now, as soon as Apple got back inside, folks, the 644 area, what it does is this. It First off, it says, okay, 528 is game. But guess what? If you get an expansion of volume as we move, like we got ex expansion of volume today, this stock right now um, could really take a serious hit. I mean a serious hit, too. Because what you have is that it chopped right into the 644. Uh, big time. So, you know, next leg down, we'll see uh, how it handles uh, the 528 area. 625 is the end of the ABC structure on the way down, a one to one. But let me tell you something, it's not, it's not going to stop there. It's just um, what you have is that the, the way that this expanded so tremendously, uh, it's nothing to take 100 bucks off this baby. Now, what that's going to do, of course, is what? That affects the NASDAQ composite, and you can see the difference today, um, and it's pretty dramatic, too. You know, the, the, the composite was down seven-tenths of one percent when the, you know, the Dow was flat, really. S&Ps are off two-tenths of one percent. So it's a big number inside the, um, 
NASDAQ Composite for sure, and the NDX 100. Some of the uh, high-volume stocks in a low-volume market. We had Hewitt Packet. That thing is toast. That was down another 27 cents. Facebook is down 51. We had uh, Eli Lilly was up by 255. Intel was down 17. We had, uh, let's see, AIG was up uh, 67. We had uh, Zynga down uh, five cents. That stock is done too. That's down to two forty-three. Let's go over and take a look at the uh, banking sector XLF. Now we're going to have so the XLF that couldn't get out of its way here. J.P. Morgan Chase. Let's see what we have with J.P. Morgan. J.P. Morgan. J.P. Morgan. So let's see what she looks like. Yeah, that's still consolidating. Not enough juice. JP Morgan, folks, is at that 4166 area, and that's right where she gapped away from. And she had gap down. You're talking about monster volume, 217 million. She's back into that gap with uh, 18 million. Uh, tomorrow, it's going to be uh, good old Alcoa as they uh, kick off earnings. Um, and, you know, it's amazing that it, it's always Alcoa that kicks it off, folks. And Alcoa, the stock is such a dog, it's unbelievable. I mean, um, you know, the, the aluminum business in general is a tough business, particularly because of the amount of energy that it takes to make aluminum. And, you know, when you take a look at uh, Alcoa, Alcoa is trading back at uh, 1993 levels. It's pretty amazing, actually. Um, I mean, you talk about, uh, yeah, I, could, I can bring it back to actually 1990. Yeah, well, it was $8.20 and 90. It's nine twelve right now. And it has, this, this not only has all the uh, implications that it wants to go test a, the bottom, and, and the bottom that I'm, I'm talking about, folks, is, uh, well, once it gets into $8.20, what happens is that four ninety seven is up, up for a test again. Pretty amazing. And so, uh, needless to say, uh, Alcoa will kick the uh, earnings off. Some of the... Large cap stocks out here. We had Caterpillar was flat today at Exxon Mobil up 13. Oxy was down 81. We had the big blue off 77. We go over to the dollar index. We take a look at the dollar. Now, with the, with the dollar index, DXC, still hasn't done, folks, is this. It has not moved with any conviction. Um, you know, we have here, now, each and every time they try to bring the dollar lower, it has rejected lower price with lighter volume. So that part of the equation is there. What you need, well, the, on the other side of that equation, though, is that, okay, so if you're going to go higher, what do you need? You need wide price spread, you need accelerated volume, and it hasn't done that neither uh, since it came off that bottom out there on the 14th of September. You know, it's acted correctly. It's building some cars, but bottom line, in order to get through the 80.33 area, it's going to need some uh, conviction behind that move. Now, gold contract, that's just the opposite. So what we've had with gold is this. Gold has been at highs now for 18 trading days. Hasn't been able to move with conviction. Um, you know, bottom line, we'll see whether it comes in. Uh, the way that it has been trading, it's saying, guess what? It's not going to come in. The reason I'm saying that is that each and every time... You've busted to the highs. It's the acceleration, number one, doesn't have enough volume behind the move, but number two, which is more important, there's not otters sitting there. And um, when you're busting highs, folks, are busting lows, particularly in the gold market, okay, uh, if this was going to go higher, what you'd have is that each and every time that it, it, it busts up to those 1790 and over 1790, which is done three separate times in the last 18 days, There'd be orders that are up there, and the acceleration should be huge, and it's not. So, um, that, now that's the setup that's saying it can't go higher. Now, let me give you the other side of that, and the other side of that uh, would be the bull side. And the bull side would go like this, folks, is that the longer that you do stay at highs, or the longer you do stay at lows, the longer or the likelihood that you do bust higher is there. So, uh, you know, we'll see where this shakes out. But right now, it's telling me that it's not there. In particular, um, because what you do have is that we're still into the downdraft from September, December of 2011, and March of 2012. 
And if we line that up with the XAU, with the HUI, with the GLD, they're all of the above. Uh, there's just not enough juice. Um, that's coming into a huge supply line. This is Tom O'Brien. This is TFNN. You stay right there, folks. We're coming right back. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Why well, not? It's going on in our world. In the world of the markets, we had the Dow down 26. NASDAQ off 23. S&P's off 5. We're going to break back.